So I found these really beautiful um, large shiitake mushrooms and asparagus. A little bit of Spanish style rice, and this is really quick and easy. A lot of these are vegan. Just avoid anything that says like chicken, uh, broth, I think. There's one classic basic one that has peas in it. That one has chicken broth. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of Himalaya salt. This is the purest salt on earth, supposedly. Kind of directly avoiding the asparagus. Now if you can get the Guardian beef tips, definitely do so. I do know that those are getting more readily available in grocery stores, which is generally where I've gotten all my Guardian, Guardian, I don't know how you pronounce it, I've only seen it in writing, so forgive that. But um, I'm gonna be taking the Boca Original Vegan Meatless Burgers, because these are more readily available. I'm gonna cook them in the microwave for a couple minutes, just to thaw them, and they will be added to this. I just want to let you know that you can shop vegan on any budget at any store. So I picked these up. Um, I picked these up at Food Select. I think they're like three dollars a box. These are great for barbecues. You could grill these too. If you put these with a pineapple teriyaki sauce, even if you can add the pineapple yourself or make your own teriyaki sauce, just so it doesn't have corn syrup, amazing. I totally recommend doing that. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of tapatio to this help fuse that flavor. Um, but this is also really good. I think I don't have the wrapper, but it's basically vacuum packed guacam guacamole. And uh, Santa Barbara salsa, and this is in a salsa uh, taquera, taquera, sorry, authentic tomatillo and chili blend. So really hot, I love it. And you could put this directly on that Boca vegan burger as well. Get your flour tortillas or corn tortillas all nice and warm. Now dish this up as you choose. We've got those lovely flour tortillas right there. Rice and beans. And then we're just going to add a little bit of tomatillo sauce, cold, and some guacamole. And then here's where the fusion comes in, a little bit of an American side dish. They are spiced up though, the asparagus and the mushrooms, so you're still going to get a lot of that flavor from it. So I'm just obsessed with mushrooms right now and grilled veggies. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun putting it together for you. It's super easy, super doable, and super obtainable, which is exactly where I was aiming. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.